Hey everyone, Michael O'Brien here, and today we are going to be taking a look at Gossip by Craig Petty and Alakazam Magic. Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Magic product review where my job is to bring you all some of the latest and greatest magic on the market and let you know what I think so that you guys can make some informed decisions on whether or not you think it would be good to add to your act. Before we dive into this product though, just a couple of announcements. If you have not already done so, please make sure to click the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell. That way you will know anytime I upload a new video. Today's video is sponsored by Alakazam Magic and Magic TV. Craig Petty was very kind to send me a copy of this. Uh, he said, you don't have to review it if you don't want to. This is just my way of thanking you because I appeared on his uh, Talk Magic uh, podcast on his YouTube channel. If you guys haven't checked that out already, I highly recommend that you do so. I will leave a link to the description in that so that you guys can go check that out right after you're done watching this video. Make sure to go check them out at Magic TV. And if you guys would love to buy some awesome stuff, I will leave a link to Alakazam's website in the link description in the description below the video as well. So before we talk about gossip, let's go ahead and have a look at the trailer. Sammy, Luke, I'm going to show you something absolutely incredible. From the brilliant mind of Craig Petty comes a new powerful mind reading tool. Right, <laughs> let me ask you a question. You guys have been together for a while, right? Yeah. yeah. So, um, you, you, you know each other really well, you know your likes and you know your dislikes. Here's a question. Does Sam, is she obsessed with like celebrity gossip and oh, stuff? Because yeah. like? my wife Sarah yeah. is, like, she's absolutely crazy. <laughs> Top 10. And what it is, is it's a list, 10 lists going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And it, it's all about celebrities, so it's like the best looking men, most powerful women, uh, richest women, most loved men, stuff like that. Yep. The biggest, the biggest problem on here is they've put Scarlett Johansson at number 10 on the best looking women. Yeah. Forming part of Alakazam's brand new wallet series, Gossip is perfect for close-up, stage, parlour or even online shows. Sam, you're going to help me. In a second, you're going to have a look at this list. Yeah. Before you do, let me ask you a question. I want you to think of a number from 1 to 10. So either 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Don't say it out loud, just think of a number. I have that number. You have that number. Uh -huh. Now, I don't want to know what it is, but I want Luke to think of a number and I want it to be a different number. So is it an odd number or an even number? Odd. It's odd. You have to it's think odd. about that for a second. It's odd. <laughs> so, Luke, you think of an even number. Yeah. Okay, so you've both got a different number. Gossip has been designed so it fits neatly inside any wallet, meaning you're always prepared to read somebody's mind. Now, I'm going to turn around. And when I turn around, Sam, I want you to look your number up. And that's going to be the list we're going to use. So, if you thought of number one, you'd be looking at that list. Yeah. Then, when you've got the list, you and Luke can look at this together. Luke, whatever number you're thinking of, I want you to look up that number, and I want you to look at that celebrity on that number. Now, now, here's the thing. I, I'm obviously looking away. The name that you're thinking of, right? Look at the previous list. That name does not appear on that list at all. Look at the next list. The name doesn't appear on that list at all. In fact, whatever number you're thinking of, Luke, if you look at every single list on that on that double-sided piece of paper, you will not find that name anywhere. That name is completely unique to you. Yep. On the instructional video for Gossip, you'll receive Craig's original routine in which he's been performing it for over 10 years. And of course, you'll receive bonus routines created by both Craig Petty and my dad, Peter Nardi. Fold it up, put it in your pocket. I don't even want to look at it or touch it. So think about this, if you thought of a different number, you would have ended up with a completely different celebrity. You haven't written it down, you haven't told anyone, there's no way I could know who you're thinking of. We're going to try and do some mind reading right now. I want you to imagine that you're sitting in a cinema on the back row, and it's a film you're interested in, so you're not doing the whole... <laughs> Maybe you are in your imagination, Sam, but that's fine. Luke? Yep. I want you to think of the name. Yep. I want you. I want you to imagine the first name. Yeah. It's right there on the screen in front of you. Yep. Look at how big it is. Yep. Not the celebrity, the name. Right. Five, oh, six, five, six letters. 
Yes. Five or six letters, yeah? Yeah. And, and the surname? That's a shorter name than though, isn't it? That's a, that's like yeah. three, three or four letters. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Three or four letters. Okay. Listen, I didn't write anything down. You didn't write anything down. You didn't say anything, right? If I told you I had a picture of the celebrity that you're thinking of in my pocket, would you believe? No. no. I mean, Chris, you, you can no. thought of anyone, right? That's, that's impossible. Okay, well, look, look, look. I'm gonna I'm gonna reach in right now. You don't even have to tell me the name of the celebrity because I have in my pocket a picture of the celebrity as a six-month-old baby. It's uh, six months with hair right there. You don't look very impressed. I mean, in all well, fairness, what I was trying to do there was completely impossible. Mm. Um, who was the celebrity you were thinking of? Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. Really? It's interesting that on the other side of this picture is Johnny Depp. No. Yes. No. Magic. Alakazam are proud to bring you Gossip by Craig Petty. All right, so as you guys saw, it is essentially a sort of book test only using a page torn out of a magazine or like a centerfold or, uh, you know, like a gossip style magazine article, right? Uh, with a twist where you do the sort of baby gag where you... You pull out a picture of a celebrity, but it's really like a like an infant, and then you say, "Ah, I'm just kidding." Turn it around, and on the other side, it's actually the celebrity's face. So, this is actually two tricks kind of combined together, and this is something that's been in Craig's working material for a really long time. I believe he said he's performed this for over 10 years, and is and you can tell because the way that it's routine together, the way that the thinking happens. It's just so well done and you can really tell that he's put a lot of work into this. The page looks awesome. Everything about it just looks really great. What you're getting in the set are the actual pages that you're going to use. Um, that, and it looks just like a magazine clipping, like you just ripped a page out of a magazine. And you're also going to get some photographs. On one side is a picture of a baby and then the other side is a picture of a celebrity. And you're going to get a small handful of celebrity cards. The idea of this whole thing is to essentially narrow it down from a list of like a hundred names and to narrow it down to just a select few names. And then from there, uh, using some various methods, you are going to figure out which uh, celebrity they are thinking of. So this trick is kind of a two-parter, right? And you can choose to perform it exactly the way Craig did and do both parts together, or you can, you know, just do one part or just do the other part. It's completely up to you. But this is sort of like a two-phase thing. So phase one, he takes out this magazine clipping. He, uh, he lets the spectators kind of look at it. And then he says, um, you know, to one spectator, I want you to think of any number, and uh, you know, from one to ten, completely fair choice, no forcing, no anything crazy, right? Think of any number. And then he has a second spectator think of another number, right? So now he takes both numbers that they thought of. One spectator's number is going to be used to select um, which column the, the names is chosen from. And then the other number is going to be used to select which name is chosen from from that list. Right. So and then the lists are different things like, you know, hottest actor, um, you know, whatever. It's like, it's like a list of different things. It's meant to look like a very gossipy, hence, hence the name of the trick, a very gossipy feeling thing. Right. So um, once you have figured out the name that they're thinking of, you can reveal the name uh, sort of like in a mind reading kind of way. You know, I, I see like, you know, this name has, you know, like three or four letters in it. Is that true? And the last name is also a short name. Right. Maybe just a few letters. Are you thinking of Brad Pitt? And then you can reveal the name to them. So that's the first part. The second part is the baby gag. So the baby gag can be done as a kicker ending, sort of the way that Craig does it in the trailer, or you can just go straight into the baby gag, right? So uh, for those of you not aware, all the baby gag is, is you say, uh, what celebrity were you thinking of? And they say, you know, George Clooney. And you reach into your wallet and you pull out and you say, that's really funny because in my wallet, I have a picture of George Clooney. Oh, this is George Clooney as a baby, of course. 
I know you don't believe me, but do me a favor. Go ahead and take this picture and look on the back. And then they turn it around, and then it's actually a picture of uh, George Clooney on it. So the gag does pay off at the end. The way that this is structured is you can choose to do it the whole thing all the way through, or you can pick and choose which piece you like better. Uh, you can have them look at the list and then immediately say which celebrity did you pick and then pull out um, the baby picture and do the baby gag if you just want to make it short and sweet. Or you can build it up. You can kind of draw it out a little bit and turn it into the whole mind reading piece. Now there are multiple techniques being used here in order to narrow down the names. I don't want to reveal how this works because it really is really brilliant. But what I can say is that these are older techniques that you have probably used before but Craig takes them to the next level. They don't really feel like the techniques that you already know because the way that he uses them is so unique that everything just seems super fair, right? Like uh, there's a couple of moments where you have to ask questions to get information out of uh, the spectators, but it doesn't feel like you're asking them for information. It feels in the way that it's scripted, like you're telling them things. Right? So like you're giving them instructions. I want you to do this. I need you to do this so that that way we can choose this word, you know, whatever. Right. But it, it feels like you're just making everything as fair as it can be. And you guys watched the performance. Um, I'll leave a link to the full performance all the way through if I'm able to find it. I think that there's a performance on YouTube that way that you guys can watch it, too. Um, but it's 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 just so well done. It's it's a really good trick. It's a really good piece of magic. And um, the tutorial is over an hour long. Now the tutorial itself is only about 15 minutes. Like to actually learn the trick will take about 15 minutes. But you're getting an hour's worth because it's not just, this is the trick, this is how it works. There you go, now go out and perform it. He does a deep dive into the history of the trick, how it all came together. He talks about, you know, scripting and storytelling. He gives you some ideas, you know. Is this trick going to be about, you know, maybe my wife, uh, she gets these magazines and she's just loves like this celebrity gossip, or maybe you're doing a larger commentary on how we are all obsessed with celebrities when there's real troubles in the world, like, like war and famine and stuff. And yet all we care about is who is dating who in the celebrity world, right? So he really gives you some ideas of some storytelling and kind of allows you to tailor it to fit your own personality. He also goes on to teach that this can be as small or as big as you want it to be. Now, it does need to be performed for a group. You can't really perform this one-on-one. -on -one. Well, I mean, I guess you can, um, but the method, you're going to have to alter the method a little bit and it's not going to be as powerful. This is meant to be almost a dual reality kind of thing um, between multiple spectators so you should have at least two spectators uh, that you can bounce back and forth between for the method to work exactly the way that it is uh, shown in the video so um, it can be performed for as small as like two or three people this can be done in a big parlor situation he teaches you how to make it play big building it up using stage props using big pictures and stuff and uh, maybe using the magazine clipping as just a means to the end to get to that big envelope with the baby reveal inside of it, right? So there's a lot of different ways that you can play this. They even teach you a way to do this like so you can kind of do it virtually like through Zoom because though you are getting a hard physical magazine clipping, they're also going to be giving you a PDF version of this that you can put on the screen in your Zoom shows so that this can be a virtual piece as well. So if you're doing virtual magic, this is an excellent piece of magic to add to your routine. On top of all this, you're gonna get some bonus performance footage as well. Uh, I believe it's uh, Peter Nardi. Uh, let me double check that to make sure I'm getting the name right. Um, is it? Let me double check that real quick. No, 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 no. Yes, Peter Nardi uh, also goes in there and teaches you guys some of his ideas and his techniques and um, allows you to do some other tricks too. Like he, do, he teaches a card trick um, using this principle that is a sort of combination of 
you know this celebrity gossip thing and like a, a, a using a deck of cards and like all this other stuff and then it builds up to this big routine and again you can make it at play as big as you want it to or as small as you want it to it's sort of modular in the sense that you can take the, the different pieces that you like and you can make it play as long so this is a nice time filler if you need to like do 15 minutes on stage and you just want to go out there and do this one trick you know this is perfect for that or if you're doing like sort of a walk around and you just want something really quick that you can do and it's like a three or four minute thing you can do that too you can walk up to someone and just be like hey so i have this like magazine you know like uh, my wife is like really into like the celebrity gossip and i actually tore this out of one of her magazines because it has a bunch of celebrities names on it i want you to look at a celebrity's name on here you go through the method you got a name perfect who were you thinking of Oh, you're thinking of Tom Cruise? Well, here, let me go ahead and show you something kind of cool. In my wallet, I keep a picture of Tom Cruise. Okay, it's a baby picture. Um, but that could be Tom Cruise, right? It looks like him, kind of. Here, in fact, go ahead and take the picture, turn it around, they turn it over, and it is Tom Cruise. It's actually Tom Cruise on the back. Or, you know, whatever the presentation is that you want to do for it. So there's a lot here. You get a lot to start with. You get the whole thing all kind of structured for you but you also get some templates that will allow you to make this you know for you to kind of customize it all the celebrity names and stuff are ones that are going to kind of resonate for years to come so in like three or four years this isn't going to be you know like who is that celebrity that like you know it's not going to be like some obscure thing that like no one knows these are celebrity names that are, that are very popular they're going to live on for a really long time so you don't have to worry about any of that but anyway i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you guys uh, find this uh, fascinating and interesting product just like i did and again if you haven't already done so i highly recommend you go check out my interview with craig petty on his youtube channel magic tv go check that out and let me know and let him know what you thought of the interview <laughs> anyway thank you guys so much for watching this I'll see you next time with another magic review. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already done so, make sure to click the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell. That way you'll know every time I upload a new video. If you'd like to check out some more magic, visit us at obrienmagic.com and be sure to check out our online magic shop where you will find the latest and greatest magic books, downloads, and accessories.